sustainable design has become a platform for gimmicks and expensive technologies in the sense that once green buildings and the Green Building Council was introduced, lots of manufacturers and products jumped on the bandwagon to introduce their technologies and some of them are fantastic systems and they'll make your building very efficient. They just cost lots of money. Our approach was to revert back to good basic design principles, cross ventilation, proper orientation, limiting solar heat gain, maximizing insulation, all those sort of basic things which we take for granted rather than introduce expensive and overcomplicated systems. So the building contributes to the learning experience of the students in a couple of ways. We used natural materials, brick, concrete, timber, steel, and we wanted the students to learn about the application of those materials and how those materials juxtapose each other. We also exposed all the services, all the pipes, all the network cables. So the students can see them, they can feel them, they can touch them, they can ask questions. So they learn about not just the materials, but also the application of the materials, the application of the details, the application of the services. It is a building which houses the students, but at the same time, it doesn't only house the students, it's also an instrument of learning. As the students of architecture, it's really great studying in a building where you can see what you've learned being applied. Studying in this building help us to study how the sun shading, the system work and seeing how it's applied. Hi, my name is Arno Peters and I'm one of the architects of the new architecture wing at the Chuan University of Technology. I hope that our design inspires a new approach to sustainability and it influences not just the students but also the architectural profession.